So now we've come to find a viaduct and we've headed off towards Charles Vinneth, if that's how you pronounce it. And I believe this viaduct is pronounced come for sir. Probably absolutely wrong. I'll put the spelling down below. So Bala is over in that direction and you can see over here, there's your former track bed, look. So Bala in that direction and Festine York in that direction. Looks like the remains of an old bridge just here too, look. Whether it was, it must have done, it must have gone up there. There's the abutment, the foundation, and there's the other bit there, there's even a little bit of brick. Just there, look. So this viaduct obviously was opened at the same time as the line, 1861 in November. And it closed in 1962. I can see it in the distance. I'm going to turn you around and hopefully you'll be able to see it too. But just look at these gorgeous views before we do. There's the road down there taking us off towards Charles Vinneth. And the viaduct sits about there. So a few miles west of the lake and we're heading towards Trosvenef but before that we've got Compasseur Viaduct. Compasseur Viaduct is an absolutely beautiful structure set in the middle of nowhere as you can see on the map. Let's go and take a look at it. So here she is, and she's got nine 36 foot wide arches and they're brick built on stone piers with a total length of 490 feet. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get down to the bottom or not because you can see it looks really, really steep. And also something of note is this sign here kind of give it a slightly different name. Is it Nant Passeur? I've been calling it Compasseur. That's what it said on the information that I Googled. Whatever it is anyway, we're here now and I'm going to get myself along the top of it and over to the other side. The views up here are just extraordinary. It's looking a bit stormy over on the mountain tops over there. But it's absolutely stunning. I'm roughly about over the third arch of the nine now. There's the view looking back to Bala. And here's the view looking in the opposite direction where we're walking now. And I've come down slightly now and I'm stood directly over the central arch the fifth arch of the ninth i'm stood slap bang in the middle i can't really show you it you can just see it look just there and the view in the opposite direction from the same side and that's the view in the opposite direction it's absolutely stunning isn't it i'm going to keep walking go around the other side you can see there's quite a tight curve on top of this viaduct as well. 
the entire viaduct is in fact a curve as you can see looking back from where we've just walked from I'm over halfway now and I'm probably going over around about the sixth arch moving on to the seventh Right, so this is the upper end. It's absolutely stunning here. The interesting part of the track bed though is that it drops down a lot. Some of it is missing. I'm going to have a quick trot down here and show you. I'm unsure why it comes down this far, whether the earth's been moved or it's just sunk, but the track bed continues on down here. And I'm not going to go through this swampiness. We'll see if I can get around the other side just so I can show you. Right, I've made it to the other side. So if I spin you around, you could just make out the viaduct just there, look. And I'm back on the track bed level, so I don't know where that bit's gone. And I'm going to finish off this little bit. I'll just show you the former route heading off towards Festino. Right, so I do hope you enjoyed this video looking at the former Bala and Festivino Railway. It's absolutely beautiful what we've seen today, isn't it? Um, I'm going to take you back across this video on a non-stop run to the other side on the way out. But for now, like, subscribe, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another one very soon. Goodbye from Wales. <laughs>